Once upon a time, there was a boy, with a dog, who met a very pretty girl. They fell in love and started a block. In hopes to make the world a better place. This is our story. Good morning. I figured I would show you guys my morning routine because it's the same thing every single morning. It starts with a toothbrush. Clean. So I'm going to the studio right now to uh, do a writing session and Jenny's making me a juice. Hey you guys, waiting. What is this? <laughs> Carrot, red apple this time, ginger, lemon, parsley, spinach, kale, and cucumber. And bee we'll pollen. See. Bee see if this is a good one. That's awesome. Really? Yeah, when you use red apple versus green apple, it makes it sweeter. If you try something with green apple and don't like it as much because it's like a little sour tasting, then oh. try red apple and it will probably be amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Good advice, good tidbit. Off to the studio. Time to write some music. I'm at the co-writing session right now. I've been busy lately. I just put out a new album. I want to take a break sometimes. <laughs> the writing session is done. It was actually more of like a meeting and uh, preparing on who we wanted to write for and stuff like that. And now I'm starving. I could literally eat my steering wheel right now. I was on my way home and I saw a girl crash her bike on the hill. I decided to stop since there was really nobody stopping. I remembered that I had a first aid kit in my car that came with it, so I'm trying to help her. Ambulance is here that I called and she's okay and she's up. So that's good. But you gotta be careful on those bikes. So I'm gonna stick around and make sure that she's okay. A random act of kindness for the day. Los Angeles Fire Department, killing it. Doing their job, keeping the world a safer place. So she's okay, the cops are here, the ambulance is here, and she is being delivered to the hospital with minor scrapes and bruises, so it's a, it's a good thing. She, she got very, very lucky. Now, back home to see Jenny. I'm about to do my racks for the day. Random act of kindness, if you're not filled in on that quite yet you will be. It's the rack movement. I am going to make some cookies and Rice Krispie treats for, I'm gonna go volunteer a little bit later and my girlfriend that's in charge of it is having a little baby boy. So I'm gonna make her some treats and congratulate her. I'll show you what I'm making in a second, but I just wanted to fill you in on my racks. No, not those racks, come on. But did you I film the... The awesomeness. Oh yeah, so in this recipe there's protein powder it says to put in and it's just protein powder. Um, you can use almond butter and honey as the mixture and then you stir it all up. So we'll see how that tastes, I'm not sure. I have to have a taste tester so I just have to see because of that protein powder, I don't know. This, it's not the full finished product but. It's the just, start it. I hate when you do this, you take like forever to say anything. You're so <laughs> annoying. Dude, it's amazing. Yeah? It's so good. I can't taste, I don't even know. Taste the protein powder? Mm -mm. Okay, cool. It's awesome. So this is so easy. So like this is, then you just pour it into a pan with some cooking spray. Oh, she's gonna make cupcakes. That's what she's gonna do for her rack. Random acts of kindness. And I did a rack too today. It's not always about filming the rack. It's just about doing it. Some are a little hard to film because then you have to film people and stick a camera in their face <laughs> and it kind of takes away the, the beauty of the rack. Even smiling at someone as they pass you by is a rack. Someone that you wouldn't usually make eye contact with and smile at. Oh, it's just smile. He's got better things to do. Oh, that was a smile. <laughs> Today is filled with racks. Random acts of kindness. Today we are going to uh, the hospital that Jenny volunteers at because she's such a nice person. The Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. And we are going to do animated storytelling. We've actually done this before, uh, not for the, the, the reading the books, the animation storytelling. We've done this before with 
uh, dancing, where Jenny and I taught a dance to a bunch of kids. Yeah, with diabetes who uh, had self-issue problems. Self-issue? Self-conscious? Self-esteem. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Self-esteem problems. And it was the most amazing experience ever. Yeah, it was actually really fun. And to be honest, I was an amazing dancer. I actually taught the class. He did, but not all of the class. Not all of the class, but I taught, taught a lot of it. A lot of it. And I was I, very proud of it. And I was the one who learned the dance and did everything. Maybe we'll show you guys okay. the dance. Hey, looks like there's a little one-upping going on here. I volunteer more than Travis, okay? I'm just excited because... Uh, <laughs> because why? Because that was my first time, like, really volunteering with Jenny and, um, and dancing. She dances all the time. I never dance. I know, I was very proud of him. I was excited. Here we are at the Children's Hospital. Such a great place. Yeah, it is. Curing kids. We just got to the children's hospital parking garage. <laughs> Jenny's we're driving like too. a maniac because we're late. Travis is always late. No, I was just kidding. I am always late. I was actually late for the writing session meeting thing today too. <sighs> you gotta work on that because it's rubbing off on me. <gasps> I'm rubbing off on her. <laughs> Hospitals are so cool sometimes. Well, you know what I mean. Leaving the children's hospital right now, and it was amazing. We did animated storytelling, and I successfully hit my head on one of the lamp posts and played it off like it was no big deal. But if you can see it right here, just a little lump. Jenny wanted to see it so that she could laugh, but we are uh, <laughs> thankful that we were invited to come because it's really awesome. It feels awesome to give back, but to see all the kids smile and stuff, it was really cool. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool. Now we're off to. Do whatever. Whole Foods is Jenny's heaven. Look at all this healthy stuff that you can get. It's hard to take her in here because she just sees everything. She wants it all. Don't you, sweetie? I want to eat everything. Jenny's getting embarrassed. Um, we're running our lines. Uh, I have an audition tomorrow, and uh, the people behind us keep on looking because I have to say like, "Hey," it makes her get very skittish. I gotta go. <laughs> we just finished our dinner at Whole Foods. All healthy stuff here, people. We're at Ross right now, and I have an audition for tomorrow. So I wanted to get like, you know, clothes to make me look more like the person that I'm trying to be. And it said hippie-ish, and I wanted it to be like hipster and kind of like wear what I normally wear. And Jenny said that I was stupid, and that it actually meant like hippie. No, she didn't say I was stupid. But she was like, I think they mean hippie. So I got the whole meaning of the word wrong. So now I have... Hippie-ish. I have to wear cargo shorts, which I haven't worn in since I'm maybe like sixth grade. And Jesus sandals. Woo -woo. <laughs> I haven't tried them on yet, but I think I'm gonna look good. Years of Jenny not eating ice. All frozen into one pail. <laughs> hey, don't do all my dirty dishes. Just Photoshop them to be clean, <laughs> internet. Uh, we love you guys and hope that you all had an amazing day. We had an amazing day as well. We're going to take Elvis for a nice long walk. Yeah. And then we're going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> He's not into it. <laughs> Bye, guys. You're terrified. <laughs>